This is a shorter audio recording about V2K and mind control and an alternative method which is along similar lines as V2K. Many people are aware of V2K. There is another method using forced auditory inputs. This method of forced auditory inputs requires the handler, for want of a better word, establishing an anchor word or phrase or phrases and sensitising the subject to them or it by repetition. The anchor in this instance is unique to the subject so that when the subject hears it, it pulls up strong negative emotional associations in the subject. So having established an anchor, the handlers now have a surefire way of getting that person's attention. This is necessary in order to hypnotize or program them. I'm using the words hypnotize and program interchangeably here. Now, subliminal suggestions or commands are then piggybacked onto this anchor, either by being said at the same time the anchor is said, or said close by to the anchor words or phrases so that the two overlap. The subliminal command that overlaps the anchor is said quietly and by the same hypnotist using the same pace, tone and rhythm. But the original anchor or anchors are often said by different people. What happens in this method is that the conscious mind is drawn to the anchor and is distracted by it, trying to work it out, etc. And in those split seconds, meanwhile, the subconscious passive mind accepts the quieter subliminal programming that's placed over the anchor without questioning. The person is unaware that these subliminal messages have gone into the subconscious. They've only heard the anchor. As the subject is sensitised to the anchor or anchors, their attention will be directed towards it, even if there is heavy background noise, such as in a cafe or bar. This is an old such method of mind control, and it can be used by real people, two real people having a conversation, uh, inserting the anchor word into an ordinary conversation, while the other person speaks over the anchor word, as the person says it. Or it can be... Uh, used as a recording played on a phone and mixed in with background noise so that only the anchor with its subsequent subliminals will get the subject's attention in a crowded room. Okay, that's a shorter ver uh, version of explaining about this alternative method of V2K. Thank you. Goodbye.